Whoever thought that only the Japanese could create the best human-like robots should think again, because they have some huge competition now. Stay tuned till the end as we reveal the reasons why people will get more attracted to humanoid robots in the future. Well, the question is, will humans prefer humanoid robots than humans themselves? Well, let's find out. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll be talking about female humanoid robots that respond to human touch. And before we start, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Done? Okay, well, let's get started. Artificial intelligence and robotics are always improving. Robots are already taking over human jobs, and this tendency will continue. The question of which job they will take remains unresolved. The Russia 2045 movement debuted the first super-realistic Russian android head based on its founder, Dmitry Itzkov, a few months earlier. He believes in the projected digital revolution and believes that by 2045 we will have developed the ability to transplant our minds into computers and android bodies. His android surrogate, developed and programmed by the Moscow-based Eurobotics, has now been disassembled and converted into the country's first female android. Alyssa was created by a neurobotics employee, and because the silicon mask was produced by one of the neurobotics staff themselves, Alyssa's face may appear somewhat genuine at first glance. Alyssa has only eight points of articulation, while on the other hand, other android heads can have up to 30. This is only enough to give its eyes and mouth movement, which are guided by a regular gamepad. The head is attached to a mannequin that stands on wheels for transportation. Alyssa has artificial intelligence thanks to the company's interaction software, which synchronizes lip motions to the sentences pronounced by its built-in function. Mikhail Sherbakov, who recently visited the laboratory, explained that the pseudo-AI is fairly basic, allowing for simple question-and-answer conversations. Voice recognition does not require specific personal training, but it's sensitive to pauses and the loudness of the speech. In telepresence mode, the operator communicates with the outside world via Skype. Alyssa's eyeball camera offers a video feed, and the operator wears a headset. The organization is researching a reasonable EEG setup, also known as electroencephalography, to allow the user to control the robot space solely through thought. Neurobotics is collaborating with Russia 2045, which promises that by the end of the decade, androids will be widespread. Alyssa is not the only humanoid robot that is earning fame. Recently, Russia now has a humanoid clerk working at the Siberian government office. According to Reuters, a human-like robot intended to look and act like a female clerk has begun serving the public at a government office in Siberia. The humanoid, who has long blonde hair and brown eyes, is serving customers in Perm, 1,100 kilometers, 680 miles east of Moscow. So far, it's only aided in the issue of certifications attesting to people's clean criminal records and lack of drug usage, documents required in Russia to complete different legal operations. According to the company behind the project Promobot, the robot was meant to seem like an average Russian woman. Artificial intelligence produced its face features by evaluating the appearance of thousands of ladies. According to Promobot, the robot, which wears the registry office uniform of a white shirt and brown waistcoat, can mimic more than 600 human facial emotions by moving its eyes, brows, lips, and other mechanical muscles covered with artificial skin. According to Leonid Gromov, the registry office's head, the robot is capable of asking and answering general queries and is linked to a scanner and printer. It also has access to a document database and completely substitutes a registry office employee. In addition, Promobot has presented the world's first self-driving android. It manipulates a real person and can be utilized for business purposes. RoboC is an android clone that can be customized to resemble anyone. The company claims to have an artificial intelligence engine with over 100,000 voice components. It can function as a house companion robot, reading the news, or regulating smart appliances. In short, a humanoid smart speaker. It can also perform office tasks such as answering customer inquiries, accepting payments, and other tasks in venues such as workplaces, airports, banks, and museums. We live in an era where human-like robots can handle complex tasks in offices and homes, and these are smart enough to control smart appliances in your home. It's no surprise that they can simplify work and, moreover, replace humans themselves. 
The important question is, can these human-like robots replace human feelings? Can they feel us? Can they express emotions? Can they show love? Can they satisfy us? This is where Russia is one step ahead of most of the countries in the world. Russia's first robot hotel has opened as a result of advances in robotics, and the operators of these hotels want visitors from other nations to visit their hotels and make love with these human-like robots. The dolls are described as warm, with mechanical movements and an artificial brain. Dmitry Alexandrov, the hotel's founder, claims that 36% of Russians are dissatisfied with their love lives. Creating a full-scale leisure adult center in Russia is not only a legal and safe way to better your love life, it's also a step toward combating one of Russia's oldest problems, the violent exploitation of women, he said. Dmitry claims that the dolls are completely cleaned after each customer using special treatments will be done to these robotic dolls in accordance with international norms. One of the visitors to this hotel commented, The dolls are so realistic I would never have expected so. The sensation is brighter and lasts longer than it would with a real woman. As we know, it's all about what we program into these robots. Technology has advanced so much that these robots react to your touch on them. Under normal circumstances, a humanoid robot is designed and programmed in such a manner as a normal person would do. The research showed that when participants were instructed to touch the robot in parts that people do not normally touch, they were more emotionally aroused than when they touched more accessible sections of the body, such as hands and neck. Participants were likewise cautious to touch private areas. Touch is utilized as a social glue, connecting individuals, creating relationships, and establishing trust, according to a substantial portion of the communication studies. The touch between a person and a robot is not as well understood in comparison to other features of robots such as look and shape. Touch has received little attention. Jamie Lee from Stanford University stated that robots are demonstrated by our research representing a new and extremely effective type of media. It demonstrates that people react to robots in a primitive, social manner. Social conventions regarding touching another person's private parts also apply to a robot's bodily parts. This study has ramifications for both robot design and artificial system theory, Lee stated. Promobot's development director and co-founder Oleg Kivorkutsev commented, Unlike humans, robots don't require time to acquire or remember material. The device basically keeps everything they're taught. The robot can be programmed to respond to specific touches and gestures, and the skin of the robot has the potential to be converted into an interactive screen. A robot could be designed to recognize physical interactions if enough data is collected. So this is what's happening all around us. We're positive that you are amazed and we'll be back for another video for you tech people soon. Kindly note that the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only. And that's a wrap for today's video. Do let us know in the comments section below because we'd love to hear from you all. So there you have it, and with that, we have come to an end of our video. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to smash that like button and we'll meet you again in the next one. Stay tuned and stay safe.